Well, hello. Um, I am a hot mess today, everybody. <laughs> uh, what time is it? It's like 1240. I'm only 40 minutes late to my own Facebook Live. You know, me and Jess here couldn't get our act together today. We were just, I don't know, we were just running late. So, uh, yeah, almost forgot about you guys. So, as you can see, you have Cheryl of the Crazy Hair. Hey, Brianne, it's just you and I so far today. <laughs> and Jess, of course, because, you know. Um, so, I'm just going to, it is Jess's fault. She was like, I don't know, one, she was late. So, I had to wait for her. And then she had to get all her hat and her scarf situated and that took a while so yeah I mean it was just pretty crazy <laughs> um so yeah so but you know we got our act together and now we are here <laughs> we um we don't have a ton to show you today unfortunately Jess forgot her bag so she didn't bring anything um so it's really just going to be me mostly and I don't have any knitting to show you because I forgot my sock in the other room. And the only other thing I've knit on is my party top, but that's in the other room too. And I didn't bring it out because all I did was finish one sleeve. So it pretty much looks the same as it did last week. Um, so I figured I would not, I would not uh, pull it out again. <laughs> and keep showing it to you. I was hoping I would have it finished so I could wear it even though I mean, it's only like maybe 64 is supposed to be the high here today in New Hampshire. Um, so I thought I could wear it, but maybe next week. We'll see. So, um, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know who is going to join us considering we're a day late. And we are also um, late from our usual time. So... Uh, I am going to just get started, and that way anybody who either jumps in later or um, watches the replay will not have to see me bumble through, you know, 20 minutes of <laughs> whatever. Jess has a sore throat today, so, oh, sorry, Jess, hope you don't mind me touching you like that, but she has a sore throat today. She's not feeling well, so she's probably not going to say a whole lot, um, but she didn't want to let you guys down and and not show up at all. So um, that's probably why she's uh, a little bit was late and stuff because she's just a little under the weather. You can see her 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 pallor is a little uh, off from what it, it normally looks like. She's cold, so she's all bundled up. Anyway, um, so yeah, I feel bad that I don't have a ton of knitting or a ton of things to show you guys, but I do have some things to talk about. Um, I guess first things first, I, I wanted to talk about the Hypnotic Yarn Advent um, calendar. I'm going to call it a calendar, even though it's not really going to be a calendar. Um, but I wanted to talk about that a little bit. We, Brianna and I teamed up again this year, and we are going to be releasing it very, very soon. Um, I'm like so excited to show you. Brianna and I have been talking about it for quite a long time, so I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it's been a secret for a while, uh, and now it just feels weird to, like, talk about it publicly. So, um, I see a few people are watching or popping in and out, so if you're here, say hi, so I, I see you and, and know that you're here watching. Um, so, yeah, so I'm really excited about the Advent this year. Um, so, last year, if you, if you didn't see it last year um we did an actual advent calendar it's like a cloth advent calendar sort of reminiscent of the calendar i had and still have uh growing up so i have a cloth advent calendar from the 70s that we put out every single year and my kids always loved there's just like a little cloth mouse that you move from pocket to pocket to count down the days and it's always been a fun family tradition for us so I had thought, wouldn't it be fun to offer something like that? And that's what we did last year. And it went really well. And uh, they turned out amazing. So this year, we are going to do something a little bit different. 
Um, but I wanted to point out that if you purchased the advent calendar last year and you, I know people had been asking me if I was going to have refill packs. So the answer to that is yes, I will do refill packs for you if you purchased last year's calendar. Um, Brienne is going to be sending out an email to everybody who purchased last year and she will ask you if you would like a reserved listing for a, a refill. And the reason we're doing it like that is because this year's advent calendar is going to be 20 gram minis. Last year was 10 grams and 10 grams uh, fits perfectly inside the advent calendar. It does the 20 grams do not fit and we did some math and it would just be ridiculous to try to get a 20 gram skein in each pocket. It didn't it didn't look well and then we would have to make the calendar really big and it just wouldn't be feasible. So um, you will have the option if you want to refill for the calendar you already have, um, just keep an eye on your inbox and we will um, we will be happy to accommodate that. But they are not we are not gonna have 10 gram refill packs listed up in the shop uh, just for everybody. So if you don't see an email from us, check and you bought last year's advent, check your spam. And if you still don't see anything, feel free to reach out to us at hello at hypnoticyarn.com and we will make sure that we get you set up with that. Um, so this year, I'm so excited to show you what we're gonna be doing. So like I mentioned, it's going to be 20 gram minis and they will be individually wrapped and numbered. And you'll also get a full size skein just like last year for Christmas Day. Um, but for the so a lot of a lot of advent calendars, right, just come with the the wrapped minis and the full skein of yarn. But I just feel like I don't know, it should be something like a little extra, right? To like kind of tie it all together. So this year, you guys. Holy crap, I'm gonna show, uh, th so this part is not gonna be a secret. The secret part is the yarn. So this part is gonna be in all the, the marketing, promo pictures, all that stuff. So, um, I mean, if you don't wanna see it for some reason, feel free to look away, but it's gonna be out there in the world everywhere. So this year, Brienne made one of her gorgeous, gorgeous project bags. And oh, you're gonna die when you see it. You are gonna die. So. Uh, I guess I'll start by showing you the front. Okay, ready? <gasps> Look at this, you guys! It's a window bag that has, can you see? Christmas llamas. What? Look at the back. Look at the back of this. Christmas llamas wearing like Fair Isle sweaters and carrying Christmas packages and things um yeah like this guy has a christmas package on his back and they're wearing like fair isle scarves and the little snowflakes are made out of like little miniature hearts can you see that oh my god and the inside is like this matching kind of like winter blue and it will fit all of your the full skein and which will be wrapped and all the individually wrapped and numbered mini skeins and I'll just show you an example of like these are my regular minis they're not the advent minis but like you'll be able to see all your little packages again wrapped so they will be a surprise inside your bag so every day you can kind of go through and pick out your your daily mini surprise and and then at the end you'll have this amazing project bag that you can um you know keep them all in or whatever you want to do. And it's got one of these detachable like swivel handles so you can leave that on or take it off. But you guys, this is definitely a sweater size bag. I think Brienne said she fit like seven full sized skeins or something uh, in this bag. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> so like I can't even say enough, enough good things about this or even, I don't know. Like in person, it's even so much better. The colors are really like bold. I feel like on the camera, I don't know if it's showing up as bold as as they really are, but they are just gorgeous. Oh my God. 
we were, we've been looking around for fabric and we had a lot of different ideas and stuff and we we're going back and forth for quite a while. We've been talking about this. So I'm really excited to get the pre-orders up for these in the shop. Um, I think we're going to have, oh my God, we just talked about this yesterday and I'm going to forget. So don't quote me on this, but I believe we said 20. Oh, hey, Joan. How are you? Thank you for joining. I know. Didn't she do a great job on these? Like, seriously, look at that's amazing. And we haven't offered a window bag yet. So I thought that would be the perfect opportunity because these bags are like super extra fancy. And I mean, look, you can fit, look how much yarn you can fit. So I'll, I'll hold it up and show you guys when I'm done, but like you can fit so much yarn in this bag. It's not even funny. Like Look at all this yarn. And this is double. So I actually have two skeins. Like I have skeins behind this. So, and there's plenty of room for probably three or four more skeins at the top. It's it's big. You can definitely fit a large project in this. So, but I mean, you can see it's not like unwieldy. I love the size. Oh, hey, Holly. How are you? I know. Isn't the window awesome? The window's my favorite. Uh, you can see like the, my light bouncing off it so i apologize for the glare but i want to let you guys know that we will have these in the shop um i'm gonna try for tomorrow so if not tomorrow then definitely saturday but i'm gonna try to have it up for the pre-order and and i think we're gonna have 20 if i got that right I think that was the the quantity so i think we're gonna have 20 and we'll see how that goes so yeah super limited quantity so if you want one i would say um keep your eyes peeled i will post on my facebook page i will post on instagram uh, i will send an email out if you're a newsletter subscriber so um yeah and oh and you know what you guys i'm sorry i misspoke a little bit so newsletter subscribers it will go out to newsletter subscribers first so they will have because it is limited they will have very first um crack at what we have so if you're if you already get the newsletter great just keep an eye on your inbox um if you are not go sign up on the website right on the front page you can sign up you also get a coupon code and um yeah so do that and then you will get notified. And then after, um, so usually what I do is I'll announce it on Friday to newsletter people, and then they'll have over the weekend. And then on Monday, anything that's left will be available to everyone else uh, who wants one. And I'm thinking they'll be shipping probably close to like end of October. That way everyone can get one. Um, yeah, but we're so excited. We're so excited. Jess is really excited too. I know she's not, she's not acting really excited right now but again she's not feeling really well so just you know pretend you see a huge smile on her face because she's like super happy about those um okay so i think that is all i wanted to say about that just keep an eye out uh, again if you ordered it last year and you want a refill of just the 10 gram minis we will be sending you an email so keep your eye on that you don't have to get those if you want to just get the new the new advent with the bag you're absolutely welcome to do that instead but we just wanted to give you guys the option if you just wanted a refill to use your original advent um i know brianne brianne suggests the stoic yeah she's she's just uh she's a tough cookie today um and you guys have to bear with me my i mean my eyes are okay but to read the comments i'm at a little bit of a distance so if you see me like squinting and things that's why my eyes aren't that great so okay that is what i want to talk about for that i have some other really exciting news but i'm only going to share a tiny bit of it with you so <laughs> i'm going to be kind of dripping out the this announcement um i'm going to throw a link in the comments so let's see if i can do that without screwing things up really bad okay there we go so i put a link in the comments and it kind of has a, a description so you can read a little bit about what it is but i am making some changes to the mystery club 
So you may or may not know that the club is closed right now to new members, um, but it will be opening back up this summer. Uh, originally, I had planned it for June, and I think I've said that a few times, so I just want to let you know it may actually not be until July. Um, that is yet to be determined, but we are making some really fun changes to the club. And first things first, if you are already a member, you don't have to do anything. You will already get all the extra fun things that we're doing. So if you are already signed up, you can just sit back and relax and enjoy the awesome. Um, if you are not a member and you are interested in becoming one, um, you can go ahead and click the link and sign up for some additional information as the announcements come out and um, we give some sneak peeks about it. It's going to be super duper fun. And all I will say for now is that we're going to kick it into high gear. So it is going to be like just it's going to be extra fun. It's going to be extra special. Um, we're just going to make it. We just really want to reward you guys who are subscribing because I mean, you're with us every month uh, getting a skein of yarn. And I say us when I say us, I guess I'm talking about me and like the <laughs> I don't know. I, when I say us, there's you know, there's definitely people like Brian and Jess who help me out. So I want to make sure I give credit to them because I couldn't do a lot of this yarny stuff without them. They're amazing. Um, but I don't, I don't know, I feel weird saying us, like me and my magical army of nobody. So, um, but yeah, we're just going to be doing some really fun things. We're partnering with different brands. Some are local, some are um, major brands that you've heard of. Some will be new to you. Some are well known within the knitting and crochet and fiber community, some you may have never heard of, but we are going to be partnering with some different companies to bring you some special things inside your box along with your monthly yarn, and it's going to be really fun. So if you want to learn more about it, go ahead and click the link if you would, um, and just sign up to get more information. If you're already on the newsletter, uh, you still need to sign up because I am not going to just be sending out all of this information to the regular newsletter. Just because uh, if you're not interested in hearing about the club, I don't want to bombard you with um, club emails. So again, if you're thinking, oh, I'm already in the newsletter, I don't need to sign up. You do because you may get one or you may get an email like when it launches, but you're not going to get all the other information that uh, you probably will want to get if you are thinking about signing up. So please go ahead and do that. And um, I've been working really hard on making sure that the things that we include in the new club are absolutely amazing and that you guys will love it. And I'm having so much fun with it. And I don't know, I hope you guys love it too. So uh, that is all I have to say about that. There will be lots of great information coming and some fun, uh, some fun things around that. But you need to be signed up in order to, in order to see all that good stuff. So, uh, I think, I think that is the, I think that's all I have really to talk about today. Let me see. What are, how are we doing for time? Yeah, it's almost one o'clock. So I think that is it. Again. Jess is just super quiet today, so I don't have any knitting. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else. I don't know. How are you guys doing? <laughs> you tell me. What do you think? What do you think about the club? Is that something that sounds interesting to you? What do you think about the advent? Uh, have you already purchased an advent calendar elsewhere, or is that have you ever gotten one before? Um, if you've never tried it, I will tell you last year was the first time I ever did anything like that, like like bought an advent to open daily. And I ordered Ann Tudor's uh, stitch marker advent and it was fun. It was so fun that like when it ended, I was like, I was like looking for like, what else can I get that I can open every day? <laughs> Because I didn't want to stop doing it. I, I would wake up in the morning, get my cup of coffee, and then sit down and open my, my little treat for the day. And it was so much fun. I enjoyed it immensely. So I'm definitely going to do another advent again. I don't know if I'll do ants again or if I'll try something different. Um, 
but I'm really excited to do another one. So yeah, I would love to know if you guys have ever signed up. Um, Carla asks, is there a theme for the advent? So Carla, I don't know if you, did you see the bag I was showing at the beginning? If not, go back and watch the, the replay in the beginning. But this bag is going to be coming with the advent. So you will get all of your individually wrapped minis and your wrapped full skein. So they will be a surprise, but they will be inside this gorgeous a uh, handmade window bag that has Christmas alpaca like llamas, whatever they are, carrying Christmas gifts and wearing Fair Isle sweaters and things. So this is a gorgeous, gorgeous window bag that is like sweater size. So this is basically the theme. Um, and when I say theme, I mean you get a gorgeous project bag along with all your all your fun yarn there's no theme as far as what the yarn what the colorways will be they will be one of a kinds so they will not be anything that is currently in the shop they will be exclusive to the advent so i will not release them separately later um the only way to get them will be in the advent so um and i try to do a, a wide range of things so you know there's guaranteed to be something in there for everybody you know um and if you're new and not sure about my dyeing style feel free to uh ch probably check out my instagram which is the best place i would say go to the shop but you're only going to see what's actually in stock and not kind of the full gamut so feel free to check out my instagram it's just at hypnotic yarn and you can see everything that i do there so um yeah all right, well, I think that is it. And let's see, does anyone have any other questions? Will the full skein be Christmas colors like last year? Yes. So last year, what, yes, the full skein was Christmas. I will say the minis are, are not going to be like on the nose Christmas colors or it's a, they're not gonna be all Christmas themed because I mean, I don't know. I feel like it'll probably me personally would appeal to me more to not have just all Christmas yarn. Um, but the full skein will, will be, I don't want to say Christmas, like, you know, blazing red and green Christmas, but it'll, it'll have like a winter theme or possibly some sort of like Christmassy feel to it. Yes. So I hope that kind of answers your question. Um, It'll be, yeah, it'll definitely be more on the winter, Christmas, holiday themed side of things for the full skein. And the minis will be um, just regular uh, awesome colorways and probably a combination of, you know, all, all the things you could think of. It'll probably be a combination of all of that. So a little bit of something for everybody. And uh, okay, let's see. Do you have a little link for the stitch marker advent? Um, I don't, I don't know that she has it out yet. It's Ann Tudor and Brianne, would you, if you have a second, if you could put a link to Ann's shop, I think, I think she's on Etsy. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Maybe she's on Shopify. I don't remember, but it's Ann Tudor and she has the glass stitch markers. Um, our last episode, um, when Jess was feeling a little more talkative, she, I think it was the last one, she brought a set that she had, that she had just got from Anne, and they're like little bumblebees and a little uh, beehive, and they're super cute. Anne has, she's very creative, and um, her stitch markers are awesome. So I buy a lot of stuff from her. Thank you, Brianne put a link. Okay, good, Carl, you saw that. All right, so... I think unless anybody has any specific questions about either the club or the link to the club um, that I posted or the advent, I will just say again, keep an eye out on your inbox either tomorrow or Saturday for the pre-order for the advent. And and yeah, and if you sign up for info about the club, and again, just signing up for info, it doesn't obligate you to do anything. It just means that you will get some information. If you decide you get the information and you don't want to hear any more about it, you can unsubscribe to that email. It will not 
I don't know if it'll unsubscribe you to the list in general, but if, if you want to subscribe, you can always sign back up. So, um, or you can just email me and say, reply to one of the emails and say, I don't want to get these anymore. And I can just remove you from the uh, yarn club list, which we're calling Yarnable, just so you know. So if you hear me talking about Yarnable, that is, is going to be what the new club is called. Instead of just calling it the mystery club. Um, but things like the sneak peek, that's not going to change. I'll still be able to go and check out what is coming. So if you want to skip a month or something, you can still do that. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, sign up and you will be getting information about what the club is, how it works, how it is different from other monthly clubs that you may have heard of in the past. And, um, and then it'll give you the opportunity to ask me questions if you have any. Okay. So I think that is it. I am going to say goodbye and wish you guys all a wonderful um, rest of your week. And uh, happy knitting, crocheting, making, all the things. And um, our real friend Jess will be back with us next week. So you'll see her beautiful face. She's actually just on vacation this week. So, um, but you know, I don't like hanging out by myself. So I thought, a plastic version of Jessica is better than no Jessica at all, right? Okay, so next week we should have lots of knitting to show you and lots of fun stuff, kind of back to our regularly scheduled programming. So, all right, thank you guys for joining and thank you for being awesome as always. Um, and if you ever have any questions or you need anything from us, again, feel free to just leave us a message on Facebook or um, send an email. Either way, we will see that and we will get back to you. All right. Love you guys. Talk soon.